Welcome to the Dressage Institute. We love to be collaborative with other coaches and other learning platforms. So we are often asked by other YouTubers and other platforms to really create some great content for their clients. This is one of those videos and we did this for Natasha Eltol that you're writing success. So I hope you enjoy this. We had so much fun making this. This is the third party part of a three part series on stuff that you can do at home to make your writing levels years better in one go. And stuff that everybody can do, everybody. Even if you've never sat on a horse before, this could be your first stuff that you do. So we've talked about the connection stuff with the sponges. Go back and see it if you haven't seen it. We've talked about standing on the ground to get you Put your legs in the right spot so that you're not gripping with your thighs. Go and see it again if you haven't done it. Pause this, move, go with, go through DMA, go and find the next section, okay? Our last one is this, is showing how to use the standing on the ground that we discovered in our position, our position in the right way to then learning how to rise trot without the rhythm of the horse to help us, without the thrust of the horse to help us. Okay, on this exercise, you want to have your bridle there again, standing on the ground, got my contact, and what I've got to do now is stand up and sit down without affecting my reins. So I can't let my reins go like this or this. I just have to stand straight up, sit straight down, stand straight up, sit straight down and for my feeling my feet stay on the ground and all I'm doing is lengthening my leg not lengthening my leg lengthening my leg not lengthening my leg and this might seem easy but I guarantee you it's hard even to do a lot of people do this and their legs move the key is, is that if you lose balance stop so I'll pretend I'm losing balance uh, just go back to where you lost balance and go again. So if you can only move that much, leave it at that, that's fine. And then just keep doing that and keep working on getting better, okay? Once you can do it well, put your reins in one hand, because your reins do help you a little bit in this respect, and do it with one hand. So that you know you can use your reins and your legs individually to another and that your reins aren't getting you up they're not getting you tall it's your legs that are doing it very important though that this doesn't happen that it stays the same and you go up make sure that you can do it both ways and then when you can do this as well take it to the next level. If you're loving this video guys, please press like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel so that I can really help the sport, give people rides on my FEI horses and hopefully one day even buy people horses. So please help me help you, press like and subscribe. Take your reins away, put your hands where you would ride, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, Stay up, lean forward, kick my outside leg, kick my inside leg, move left, move right, sit down. Kick my inside leg, kick my outside leg, stand up, half stand up, oh, change your angle away, whoop, move it, whoop, 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 whoop. And what we'll get here to do is Alvin to try to catch me out. So Alvin, you stay stand up and sit down in a way that you think I'm going to fall off. And I'll follow you. Stand up. Ah, I see you got me, yeah? And that teaches you, so your husbands or your wives or your kids or whoever can have lots of fun trying to get mum or dad or brother or sister flying off the chair. It can be quite amusing. So it, the idea is, is that you start to follow somebody else's lead but still stay stable. It's really, really, really important. You can then take your reins back again and Alvin can start to tell me what to do again and somebody else can have the rein 
and also pull it. And then while he's doing that and trying to catch me out in all different ways, then I get someone else to grab the rein and pull me out the way. Because that's what horses do. Oh, they pull me. And I have to oh, correct that and not have that happen and not be pulled away. Now then all of a sudden, you have all these ways to learn how to rise independently and while you're standing on the ground. If I grip with my knees, my feet come off the ground. You see it, yeah? If I think feet on the ground and my rise is just bend my knees, straighten my knees. Bend my knees, straighten my knees. Bend my knees, straighten my knees. And all the while I'm saying to myself, I must keep my foot flat on the ground. It seems like it should be more complicated. It is not. If you, some, for some people, if you just do these three exercises for six months or one month or two months and never even look at your horse and then apply this stuff to your horse, you will potentially be better than you would have been if you rode your horse for 10 hours that month. It's amazing how knowledge, feeling things and then replicating those feeling things onto your horse makes things click, make things work. Try those three things, okay? Try it. Put them all together. I can't wait to hear how you guys went. Mwah. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this content just as much as I enjoyed making it. This sport is my passion and I love the sport. I love the horses and I love the people in it. This sport should be a collaborative environment where we can all help each other succeed. So please, if you enjoyed this content, click like and subscribe. But also, if you want me to help your students as well, please let me know of a video. I'm more than happy to make some content for you as well. I can't wait to see you soon, guys. Mwah. Bye.